Man, this guy next to me is singing loud. I was hoping you guys would hear it, like I could get it on in time, but I didn't. It was, uh, it was pretty good. It was entertaining. Why get off and cause all that fucking traffic jam? All that fucking traffic jam and you're gonna get off to get back on? Get the fuck out of here. Hey everybody, it's I Dude here, and uh, yeah, we're just out on a out on a little ride. A um, little fun fact: how I started my day. Uh, I got to work. Knew that we didn't have a job today, which was awesome. Uh, so I got to come in a little bit later. All we were doing was uh, was loading up the truck for tomorrow's job. So that was awesome. You know, I got to sleep in a little bit. You know, I came in, we loaded up the truck, I got home, I was feeling great. Feeling like a million dollars, happy as all could be. And, uh, yeah, I pull up in my driveway and I notice that my black neon, you know, my, you know, I don't know, I once upon a time called it a winter beater and then, you know, it just kind of lives, I don't know. But, uh, anyhow, so my neon up in my driveway, mind you, all the way in my driveway, uh, has a yellow uh, sticker on it from the city claiming that it's an abandoned vehicle and uh, yeah so I get out they got my license plate uh, written down and they're saying the license plate isn't registered like it's not a registered plate well yeah I'm not driving it right now why are you in my driveway to begin with and why are you harassing me about a vehicle that isn't on the road Either way, I, uh, <laughs> my first reaction was to write, go fuck yourself, get off my property, on the little yellow slip that they stuck on my window. But then I decided that I would call the city and uh, just do some complaining about trespassing. Because I don't know in, in anybody's fucking mind that code enforcement would be able to come into my backyard and, and tell me that something that I own is going to be removed at my expense from my own backyard. Like, what the fuck? Why don't I just go in people's houses, rob them at gunpoint, and then charge them to get their stuff back? Like, because that's how I felt like that was going down. So... Yeah, I call up the city. I make a big old fucking stink because I want to know where this brand new code enforcement officer gets the balls to walk all the way up in my driveway and ticket and flag a car that isn't on a public road. It's not on the fucking city's property or anything. I'm kind of getting myself worked up again talking about it. I need to chillax. But yeah, it is. It's super discouraging like why would i even want to stay in your shithole city if this is the kind of stuff you pull like i get it your city's starving because there's fucking everybody's moving out you gotta fucking charge everybody in the fucking city for making a, a turn on red because that's your only fucking income is giving tickets for a no turn on red sign and speeding on eight mile those are your only fucking sources of revenue so i guess code enforcement is going to ride around fucking people over with uh, every little infraction so i call up the city and i give them a piece of my mind you know because if this shit stands i'm going to take it to court that's fuck cool spinners on a bike dude <laughs> Um, anyhow, yeah, so I told him that was a bit of an overreach of power for the fucking city to be able to just come into my yard, tow a vehicle that I own away, and then tell me they're going to charge me for it. So, I guess on the 2nd of uh, November, I'm going to have to not be at work for the sake of, I don't know, defending my vehicle in my own fucking driveway. When I called them, they were supposed to speak with an officer and speak with the uh, enforcement officer and then call me back. Well, after being very cordial and very patient, I've received no phone call back and it's now five o'clock. We've reached the end of the day 
and I've got no info, so go ahead. You come on my fucking property. I dare you. Anyhow. Just uh, on my way to Josh's. Holy shit, those shoes are loud. Holy shit. That was the most garish thing I've seen all day. Here's just that sign on the Boost Mobile building. Let's fucking paint this shit orange. I guess it works. It got me to look at it. But who, who in the right mind uses Boost Mobile? That's what I want to know. But... I have noticed my mirror is facing my hand and very loose. That sucks. I don't have any more of right mirrors either. I only got one left mirror left. Yeah, because those are those are different pieces, so. That dick seriously. <laughs> you know, I know why this one's stopping. say I do like these but I don't know that I would suggest them I've been through a few pair of them already uh, they're not CNC aluminum like the like the advertisement on eBay says they are they are just a cast a cast steel it's all poured into a mold they're, they're very uh, uh, fragile they're, they're doesn't take a whole lot to snap them off Holy crap, the underskirt on that Mustang was flapping like mad. How do you not hear that? Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the first set of mirrors I got, I had an issue where this primary was cross-threaded, like the main pin for the level of the mirror, uh, the main bolt. It was cross-threaded and all kinds of cattywampus. And I tried to fix it by pulling it out and re-tapping it. It just, it never took the thread well after that, so... You know, I rocked that mirror for a little while there. And, uh, you know, finally got a new one. Uh, the new one, the right mirror was good and it was threaded well, but the left mirror was loose and the uh, actual thread here was no good. So, I mean, for being, they were cheap, they were $35. But, I mean, you, I just. I expect a smidge and more quality, I guess. Just a smidge. You know, because for $12, you can get uh, essentially the same mirrors, just in silver, like a raw metal. Well, I'll fucking paint them black for the fucking $12 savings. You know, instead of spending 35 40 bucks plus shipping from this place in California, I can place, pay $6. $12, you know, six a mirror or some shit.
like I was saying, uh, I think getting the cheaper version of these mirrors on like the Wish app, you know, yeah, they're coming from China, not California, but they're the same fucking mirror. That place in California, honest to God, they just ordered them and have them in stock at their warehouse. They're not made here. I don't know any company that would put their name on these. Like, the bolt just backs out all on its own and shit. Yeah, it's, a, it's a whole lot of awesome happening there. And there's, like I said, they're super fucking fragile. Let me just get closer to this fuck because he wants to be so close to me. Let's see if I can make you feel real awkward. Well, good job. Wonder how close you can get to that car in front of you. And make sure I just got you blocked in all nice and pretty here. Hope this is where you're going, because you're stuck there now. Well, I was gonna keep fucking with him until I saw my opportunity. Like I said, I would not, I would not recommend these mirrors. They look cool. Uh, you know, if they were maybe made in America and actually made on a CNC lathe, or, you know, some sort of CNC fucking machine, and they were solid aluminum, they'd probably be fucking fantastic. But unfortunately, they're they're cheap to buy. They're cheap to make. They're just fucking cheap. Alright everybody, this has been I dude, this has been a moto mash, a little rant, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, stay tuned, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, later. This is my motherfucking jam right here. How you living, Biggie Smalls and Mansion and Benz, giving ends to my friends, and it feels stupendous.